on the broadcast will be representing the BJP. Ashpeet Khadial is from the Congress Party uh, joining us as well. Gentlemen, first of all, this is going to be a very short, very short duration debate. Ashpreet Khadial, what hope do we have that the next session will function, that the monsoon session will function? I mean, uh, the Congress may say that it is the opposition that has let uh, let the country down, but but the, uh, the 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 government down. But but the opposition has let, let the country down as well by not letting Parliament function. Twenty days, zero work. Well, let's uh, look at uh, some facts. Way more disruption happened back in the day when the UP one and UP two regime was there. And as a matter of fact, you take up all the governments, all the regimes. The most number of disruptions happened during UPA 2 from 2009 to 2014. 37% of Lok Sabha scheduled hours were lost to disruptions. Where did you know the uh, public expenditure go then? The taxpayers' money go then? Where did addressing the issues go? Where did debate discussion go? And even now, the Bharatiya Janata Party is not willing to have proper debate and discussion. The elders has passed a competition bill, you know, uh, very recently without any debate discussion happening. Number two, that was in UPA2 a criminal waste of public money. And right now, not just the opposition, the Bharatiya Janata Party itself does not want the debate discussion to happen so that they can evade the answers, they can evade the questions that the Congress Party and all the other parties are asking. Why are you not wanting to order a probe on the Adani issue? If he'd be guilty, he'd be found guilty. If he'd be innocent, he'd be found innocent. Why are you evading that? Our mind get muted. You know, new, on numerous occasions, our statements get expunged. And, you know, if we speak hmm. in the parliament, our leaders get disqualified. If we speak on the road, we get FIRs registered against us. And then we have to go to the court. But the problem is the process becomes punishment. And this Sarah government Varna? of the Bharatiya Janata Party... Does not what will it to take to run the house? As in the temple yeah. of democracy. Karan Varma, what will it take to run the house? The fact is that the Adani Hindenburg issue is an important one. The questions that have been raised are important questions. They are not, you know, they are not invalid questions. Yeah. Why not answer those questions in parliament and let the parliament function? Why continue to make this about Rahul Gandhi? It takes a responsible opposition. You ask me, what it, what does it take for the parliament to function? It takes a responsible opposition. And three quick points where I completely expose the opposition, how they are caught lying. 2nd of February, Mr. Kharge is on record saying that for the Adani issue, we either need, he said, either need a JPC probe or a Supreme Court monitored panel to look into it. His demand is okay. A Supreme Court panel is looking into it. He does a complete 360 flip and is now insisting on a JPC, which is far less effective than a Supreme Court monitored panel. Everyone would concede that. That is yeah. point number one. Secondly, they are talking about Adani, Adani. They're fixated on one company. Though they have given projects worth 85,000 mm. crores in their own states, in Rajasthan and Chhattisgarh, why don't they cancel these projects? Why don't they walk the talk? That shows their lack of sincerity. Third, when an MP is convicted, and he's convicted by a court of law, this, this is not a political process. What business do you have wearing black clothes and throwing papers uh, towards the Lok Sabha speaker? Does that behove a responsible opposition? Okay. Do you think parliament can function just because yeah, your yeah, MP yeah. is convicted hmm. to yeah, resort yeah. to this sort of hooliganism? So the truth of the matter is, Shreya, people are watching it. Okay. People are you know, seeing and listening uh, to what's happening. Today, the opposition stands completely exposed. They have brought people, the dignity people of the are watching and they, they are, are seeing and listening. They are seeing and listening to what the government is doing. They are seeing and listening to what the opposition is doing. You are saying that the opposition is fixated. Just a minute, with, with, with the Adani issue, the fact is that the BJP and the government is fixated with Rahul as well. So combined together, we have seen zero work in 20 days. Zero work. A complete Absolutely. waste of the taxpayers' money. Let's hope the monsoon session is a little but kinder uh, to the pocket of the taxpayer. We'll leave it there. I, I said this is going to be a short chat. I'll leave it there. Thank you very much, Karan and Rashpreet. Thank you very much for joining us. With that, I'm perfect.